G'day everyone, this is the first of the Back to Basics videos. These videos are going to address one question, uh, usually a very simple question, with hopefully a simple answer. So the question for this one is, which way around does the three pole double throw switch go? Does it go this way? Does it go this way? Um, in the pedal. So if you can imagine the pedal enclosure um, is around here, you've got your knobs at the top and your circuit board up the top. That's the enclosure. Does it go that way or does it go that way in the pedal? Um, and it's a very simple answer. It goes that way. I don't think I've ever seen a wiring diagram where the, where the three pole double throw was wired this way. Um, uh, generally, generally it's wired, it's wired horizontally. I'll show you one that I've done um, with, a, with the larger three pole double throw switch one down there. As you can see, the lugs are going across that way. They're going, they're going horizontally. Um, so the actual switching mechanism, when the pedal is like this, will go from the middle row and the top row are connected, push the button, and then the middle row and the bottom row are connected. So the, the row that is connected will go from the top to the bottom. The middle is the common, uh, the common row of, um, of, of lugs, um, and that's generally how they, how they work. To double check, look at your wiring diagram because usually on your wiring diagram the person that made it will show you which way around they've made it for. Like I said, I don't think I've ever seen one where it's actually been vertically like that. Um, but you never know, um, maybe someone has done, it, uh, done their wire, wiring diagram that way, it's a bit convoluted but maybe they have. Um, but generally you'll find <coughs> they are horizontal. Um, so just double check the wiring diagram that you're following. Um, so obviously this is for off-board wiring, I should have said probably at the start of the video. You probably already worked that out for me, foot switch. Um, it's um, off-board wiring for true bypass. Um, so that's, that's the answer, wire it ho horizontally unless the diagram shows you another way. Um, and if you're not sure or you're not sure how you, how you switch um, mechanisms working, just double check it um, with your multimeter, put it on continuity mode, which is the buzz, it, which is the buzz um, the, when there's a connection there's a buzz, the multimeter will make a buzz and just put it on, this is impossible for me to do and show at the same time, don't have enough hands, um, but just put um, your multimeter, like I said before, put one on the, middle, on the middle row of lugs and then test the top and the bottom and you'll see one will beep and one won't and then when you press the button the other one will beep, it'll, it'll alternate um, and then you'll know um, which way around your, your switch works. Um, so that's pretty much it for that um, for the answer for that um, that um, question. Three pole double throw, three PDT. Um, that's what that acronym means. Um, in case you're new to pedals, again. Um, so that's a that's a very quick and easy one for the first one. Um, there'll be plenty more. I've got um, a lot of a lot of ideas. I get a lot of questions um, during the day, and um, I know there's a lot of questions. Um, a lot of common questions, particularly about hardware, that I'll be going through um, and um, explaining um, one video at a time. So I hope you like these back to basic videos. I know the beginners to this hobby are going to like these videos um, because they're the ones, obviously, that don't know all the background information. Um, they can't, they're new to it and they need someone to explain these things. Um, and we all got to start some. Uh, we all have to start somewhere. Um, so. That's it for this video anyway. Thanks for watching, hope it helped, and stay tuned for more Back to Basics videos. Thanks for watching.